And let's do uh, an electric field example. And let's do the following. Uh, we're going to take four charges, Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. And let's calculate the uh, force right at the center of this square. So this side is L, this side is L, and we're going to figure out, not the force, I'm sorry, the electric field right at the center of the square. And let's give you some values here for the Q's. Q1 is going to be the same as Q2 and Q3, which is 2.4 times 10 to the minus 12 coulombs. Q4 is going to be negative 2.4 times 10 to the minus 12 coulombs. Okay. And let's see if we can calculate E right at the center of this configuration. And we'll say that the length of each side is 4 centimeters. All right. So, how can we do this? Well, electric fields are vectors. Vectors obey the principle of superposition, which means we can add them up according to the vector rules. So, if we want to calculate E at the center, we could calculate E due to number 1, E due to number 2, E due to number 3, and E due to number 4, and just add them up. Okay. So let's draw it again right here. Here's our square. Here we are at the center. This was Q1. This was Q2, Q3, and Q4. Let's think about Q1 for a second. At this position right here, what direction is the electric field from Q1? It has to be along the line between the two. And Q1 was a positive charge, right? We said that was positive. Positive means the electric field is going to point away from it. So that is E1. That's the electric field from Q1. Q2 is also positive, and the electric field from Q2 is going to point that way, E2. Q3 is also positive, and so the electric field from it is going to point radially away from it, so it's going to be right there. And then finally Q4 is a negative. And so the electric field from Q4 is going to point towards it in the same direction as E1. So look what happens. E1 and E3, I'm sorry, not E1 and E3, E2 and E3 are equal and opposite. They cancel. Right? E2 is pointing up to the right, E3 is down to the left, and so those two exactly cancel out. E1 and E4 are in the same direction with the exact same strength, in fact, and so they add up. Okay? And so now the problem is really simple. All we have to do is calculate the electric field due to one of them and double it. All right, let's do it. What is E total? It's just twice E1. And we know what E1 is. It's KQ1 divided by this distance R squared. Okay? And we know K. K is 9 times 10 to the 9. We know Q1. It's 
2.4 times 10 to the minus 12. That's staying on the board? Yeah, it's all right. And then we got to divide by r squared. Now we have to be a little bit careful about r here because this side of the triangle is in fact L over 2. That side of the triangle is also L over 2. So R squared is in fact L over 2 squared plus L over 2 squared. And so we get 2 times L over 2 squared. Right? L over 2 squared plus L over 2 squared equals R squared. And we know that number now. So now we can plug all this in to your calculator. Why don't you try it and tell me what you get? Okay, we've got uh, L we said was 4 centimeters. So 4 centimeters there is 0.04, but we're going to divide it by 2, so that's 0.02. We're going to square that, and then we have a 2 out in front of it. That's convenient because that 2 is going to cancel with that 2. And so I will approximate it here and you guys can tell me what you get. Uh, 9 times 2.4 is 18.23-ish, uh, 23 times 10 to the minus 3. And then we've got a 2 times 10 to the minus 2 squared, which is 4 times 10 to the minus 4, and that I'm going to say is 23 over 4 is pretty close to 6 times 10 to the 1. So we're going to say it is 60 newtons. Is that close to what people got or not even close? I got 54. You got 54? All right, so we're pretty close. 54 newtons, uh, I'm sorry, it's not newtons, right? We're calculating electric field. Electric field is volts per meter. That's the SI unit, volts per meter, okay? That's the value of the electric field right in the center, okay? And we took advantage of some real important things here. We took advantage of this notion of superposition, adding up electric fields according to the vector rules, and that greatly simplified the problem because two of them canceled and the other two doubled. Okay, and then the rest was just plugging in some of the numbers. All right, any other questions about that one? You guys feeling okay? All right, hopefully that's clear. If not, definitely come see me in office hours. Cheers.